It's time for a little bit of Oasis, and I couldn't resist doing my favourite song. So, um, here we go. Ha! <laughs> here we don't go. put more sevens in there than I did on the tab but never mind I've basically embellished it slightly with a few slides and wiggles lots of wiggles so I'm going eight nine eight on my G with a little bit of a wiggle at the end then landing on my D on a nine another wiggle because I can't resist eight nine eleven nine eight on my G a little slide from nine to eleven pull off wiggle on eight so that's a with a hammer on I think as well don't I? 8-9 slide wiggle okay then next bar 8-9-8 eight, eight. don't have to pull off sometimes I do sometimes I don't then back down 9 on the D string and then down to 7 straight away so it goes a little bit offbeat there do, do, do. It tends to help me think. <laughs> I think of it like a samba rhythm. So all together, if I try and go a little bit slower, you'll see all the wiggles and the slides. Sorry, I just realised that's a hammer on as well. So eight to nine, pull off straight away to eight. If you're having trouble with pull offs, actually, before I carry on with this riff, make sure you're squeezing enough. Make sure you keep the pressure down. And really commit with a hammer on as well. So I used to sit in the living room just going and then try and flick it more without catching other strings, which is easier said than done. I mean, I literally drove my family insane with this for years, <laughs> but it's worth it, I promise you. And you will get it. It doesn't happen immediately, but you will get a good pull off and a hammer on if, you, if this is completely new to you. Just persevere. It's all about pressure, keeping it down, letting it ring. Okay, so that riff all together then. Okay, and then you're into chords, so I'm just going to walk you through all these chords. You can use B there, or you can use it on second fret as an A shape. If I just shuffle the guitar down, second fret. There you go, just so you know I'm not lying. Remember what I said, I do a very strange cat candid A shape. You guys don't have to. If I move my finger right out the way, you can see what I'm doing. I'm holding down one, two, three strings with the one bendy finger. But you can go, ooh, A shape if you prefer. But while I'm up there anyway for the riff, I might as well just use the B that is on seventh fret. And I think the only other remotely scary chord, which isn't scary, don't worry, is your F sharp, which again is down here on second fret. It's an E shape though, so it's a nice friendly chord. And I recommend going to that one rather than the one up here on, um, not minor, sorry, on nine, just because it sounds richer down there. It sounds better down there than up there, for the purpose of the song. Okay, so let's give this one a go so that you can see what I'm on about. So now we're all zoomed out, let's just have a look at these chords then. So, my pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. I'm not holding a pick, by the way, this is just my random strumming of the day. You can use a pick, that's fine, or you can use your thumb, whatever you want to use. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, okay? And there's a few up shots on the A, which I'll show you in a minute, but I get up when I'm Up for transition into that B, up, down, up, and that's it. I do the lead, I got flip, I got speed, and I walk on that up, down, up. Cause God give me soul and young rock and roll, babe. And I'm gonna pause here briefly because it says two free on the tab, so that means you're gonna play. If you're playing the riff along to the record, okay, you're going to play first bar and second bar. So if I do that again, and I'll hum it to you, so from the E. Into 
towards the F sharp on second fret. Oh, look, I've moved slightly. There we go. Now you can see what I'm on about. That is second fret, just to reassure you. Okay. And I guess so. means the entire thing okay just as I just hummed it the whole thing the whole shebang see of um okay now moving on to the bridge chorus because I know you'll be fine with the next verse um, your riff comes again to what I've just played it is slight alteration so we keep going and then you have a bit of a crunch of an A don't have to use those if you don't want to but that's just an open A again I play it in a cack handed way you can do it that way if you want and then it's going to a, oh, a B okay so it's exactly the same as going A A A B B and that's on the tab that is the two 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 if I put it on five and moving up to your B two four four two four 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 okay that's all those are chords that's just how they look on tab don't worry then you've got a nice little bit over here where you're it is the same pattern it's just starting in a strange place so then you're on your B string nine ten nine ooh, and landing on your nine again so I'm doing pretty much the exact same pattern tell them my fingers wanted to hammer on the 12 if they do that's fine go with what your fingers want so you only do it for a little bit and then you come straight back to you then you do it again and then you're back again and then you're straight back into you and I guess so Let's see if we can go through the entire song and hopefully you can play along with me. Okay, so from the top. Okay, so from that solo.
So, that's the Hindu times all the way through. The way I do it, there's always going to be exceptions. I always miss some things. <laughs> Someone always calls me up on it. But generally, that's how you do it. If your hand gets tired, like my hand was starting to get tired at the end, you can go down into open E. You can go into that B on the second fret. F sharp's down there anyway. And you can use those chords for variation as well, just because obviously you've been up there the whole time. Um, you'll notice the E I use, I just like using it. It's basically an E power chord with that E in the boots. And it's like a suspension. I just really like it, I can't help it. And I tend to do it with the D as well. Just because I like the sound of it. That's all that is. A, a purist would be like, no, it's D. Do an E. <laughs> I just get lazy if I'm honest. Um, play it how you want to play it anyway. Um, but there you go, that's the Hindu Times. I hope this has been of some help to you guys. Fingers crossed. Uh, thank you for watching.